Hello and welcome. This is Kujo Sound and I'm Bjorn Jacobson. And today we'll be doing a little bit of sound design something where we'll just grab some tool and we'll do something with it. Um, in this case, we're going to be using Krotos Weaponizer, the new tool from Krotos that, we're, that can do weapons. And as always, let's try and do something else than weapons, or at least try to do some, some different ones than normally intended. So this here is the tool. Um, you can load various various types of sounds and then you can move them into this timeline here and then they will trigger whenever you press this fire button here so let's try and load a regular real world pistol a Beretta pistol let's go sounds alright this means that we now have this gun, which plays like this, and we can then alter all of these. Let's try and solo this here. One layer, another layer, and a third layer. And all these are just samples that you can drag in, and or you can pick one from the library that is already there. you can drag and drop your own sounds like this or whatever you want to put in there now these are all these onset sounds here in combination but you can also move it here on the timeline and you can even see the waveform of your what you're specifically working on right now so when we unsolo these you should be able to see all the other waveforms uh, actually there's quite a lot of DC on this one which is not a good thing but for experimentation sure why not as you can hear our onset sound now comes later so let's put it back here and there it is so if we solo these here now with these you can alter the speed, I mean the pitch, and the volume of these. So this here is a small click. Let's try this one here. Now if we go in here, and you can alter the, the pitch of it. But you can also set it and then alter this knob here and then say you want it to randomize between these values. Like that. Now, I don't necessarily want to use that. I want to go here and click envelope so that I can change this. And let's let's be a little harsh here and say we want maybe from here. That. Let's try and kill the tail here so that we don't hear this one. Uh, mute. Let's just mute the tail. There we go. Now there's much less tail. So let's. So in here, let's see if we listen to this one here. In here, in envelope, we can alter it like this. And we can even add a synth sound to it. Now here in our in the in the thump, I know there already is one, so if we solo this, you can see that this is this is the, this red part here. And it just adds this tiny bit of um, Kind of bassy sound to it now if we want to avoid a click and let's say we want it to be longer you can see live that the that the waveform appears here so that we now know that what's what's going on let's um so if we do like this and go like this 
So now already, like with this sound, it could sound more like a, like a pipe gun or some sort of uh, homemade gun. Um, let's, let's see if we do like this. Add some gain here. Now, of course, I'm not really interested in doing regular guns, so let's try and do something weird with it. Um, let's try and load something. What do we have here? Yeah, nasty sample. Um, it's actually a microphone, and it's pitched down quite heavily, but it's just the distortion of the microphone that we were using that day. So let's let's try this out here. See, oh, I dragged and dropped it into it. If there already is a file, it creates a pool of these. So now it's randomizing between these two. And we don't want that in this case. But this actually means that you can load pools of clicks, handling, uh, onset, body, thump, and tail sounds, which means that you can create almost like endless variations of whatever gun you're trying to create here, which is really awesome. Um, so let's, now we have this here. That's just by pitching it like this. So by envelope, we're going to change it a little bit here. Like that and So now we have a, like a, a weird thumper gun. Let's try and add some synth here. Um, like this and FM here. Say we want. Let's just, just do some weird patterns. Right? so that it goes like this if we want it manipulated by noise like that yeah let's go yeah and over here in our body we muted these let's try not to do that let's um alter these as well. Let's just try and uh, do some, some harsh changes and then we'll figure it out how that sounds in combination. And I have this here, this experimental ball here. I'm trying to add this. And we can just select that we only want to play this part and we want to zoom in and go like this. And we want to go like that, and that, like that, and the level just to avoid clicks. Like that. And now. could say that we wanted all of these here to like so sort of like fade in all these onset ones that are now playing earlier than everybody else and we want the pitch to be slightly different You can also set it to burst mode, but that's usually only good when your guns are specifically designed for it because you cannot limit the voices. So I can't control if there's one sound that I don't want to continue whenever I go into burst mode. So uh, let's set the fire rate a little bit down here.
But this is cool. I mean, even for music, just to randomize between things like this, even or I could even use it as an emulator to emulate random containers in Wise so that I could sequence all my random containers and then actually work with it from there. Um, but let's let's try and make a make this gun a little weirder. The tail here, maybe we can Yeah, maybe why not? This may sound like birds, but it's actually it's actually a microwave from my house. <laughs> it's kinda weird, but Yeah. So here we have this sound here. a ball thrown at a, in a gym thrown against a wall recorded with an MS microphone um, yeah so it's randomizing between these so let's go like this and then just pitch it up here towards the end like that and then say on me long. Let's just shorten it down. Here we go. Is it this one? Yeah, it's this one. We don't want this one to sound like this. Wave one that we did. Here we go. Should make this sound a little shorter. So here we have a weird noise. We have a weird sound that we can use for a lot of things. Um, let's even try here. This hard drum melting here. Um, anyway. This is Krotos Weaponizer, and already we've made a bit of a sci-fi-ish gun. We can add all sorts of effects to it. We can control all sorts of effects down here. Limiter, compressor, you can even send to the reverb and control the reverb fully. You can add EQ to it. Like that. Um, it's a bit, of a bit of a nice little touchy gun here. Oh, you can also use it to create randomized patterns of not necessarily a weapon, but maybe a part of a weapon. So you can use Weaponizer to create building blocks of stuff you want to do in Weaponizer. Um, that would be really awesome. Just use it to create, use all these things to create the ultimate tail, then use those tails in a new, in a new patch that you're going to do. 
um, to put all this together. And I also think for musical purposes, the randomization process and being able to randomize all these things um, for glitchy music might actually be really awesome. Um, is made to make weapons, but I want to use it for something different. Um, but I really, really enjoy it though. Um, for weapons, it's going to be really cool. Let's um, let's add this one more sound here. Dark drone. It's going to be really short. We need it to be like this and change this. These are really, really harsh changes to pitch and volume, of course, but I like that. Whoop, let's get rid of the Beretta here. Like that. It's going to duck down a little bit. So let's try them all together here. Cool. Let's add some bass. Maybe, maybe let's add some reverb here because over here in the library you can pick from all these RS, the RR filters here, and let's go outdoor. No. Outdoor. Indoor. Then. Okay. Okay. Large hall. Here we go. And if we then say, we only want to listen to the tail. Maybe we can change it like this. Let's see here, only the IRs, and then go. You can hear the reverb, it's just constantly going because it's a really, really long one. We've chose to have maximum decay. Let's lower this one. Let's say parking garage. And let's make it all wet. Like I said, you can't limit the voices. There was a bit of a limitation in case you want to randomize a lot between patterns and then have not have all the sounds trigger whenever you fire. Still, it's really awesome um, to do all these things with. Let's make it quiet, right? This is Krotos Weaponizer. You should try it out. It's a really awesome tool. And as you can see, it's pretty creative. You can do really lo lots of awesome things in it. Tomorrow, I'm probably going to do another video on another Krotos tool, uh, and that's going to be equally awesome. <coughs> Sorry. Don't forget to sign up here on YouTube. <coughs> I'm dying here. Don't forget to sign up here on YouTube. Follow me on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Um, subscribe on Patreon if you feel like that this is worth paying for. Um, I provide lots of content in regards to how to do sound design, how we're going to do all these and inspirational videos. And I learned a lot from it too. So whatever you want to do, or you can even just sign up on Patreon and it won't even be, you won't even have to pay for it, but it's just there where I post all my blogs, all my videos, all my vlogs, everything there. Uh, lots of sound design content. So feel free to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's more to come. See you next time.